GarageBand for iPad is remarkable. It's got touch instruments. You can plug in a guitar and play real instruments if you want, but it's got touch instruments that I think are going to be a huge hit with our users. Guitar amps and effects, 8-track recording and mixing, over 250 loops you can add to your songs. Uh, you can email files around of your song to anybody, and it's compatible with the Mac version. So if you want to start something on your iPad and finish it on the Mac, no problem. I'll launch GarageBand, and the first thing you see is an instrument browser. So these are all the touch instruments Steve just mentioned. And you can just swipe to tap through them, and it's incredible. They turn the iPad itself into a musical instrument that you can play wherever you go. And I'll go ahead and bring up a, a keyboard to, to start showing this off. And you can see this beautiful grand piano comes up and it fills the display. And the keyboard's not just a grand piano. I can tap on that icon right in the middle there, and you can see all the sounds that are built in. There are organs, electric piano, clavinet. Look at this, a whole bunch of great synthesizers that are really, really fun to play. Well, iPad has an accelerometer built in, and we use that to measure the force that my finger strikes the display. So GarageBand knows if I tap something really soft or really hard. And we use that throughout the app, and that lets, lets us create these instruments that are incredibly expressive and, and fun to play. Now, this one is set up in a way that when I tap a key and I slide my finger up and down the rest of the keys, it's going to glide between the notes. It won't play the individual notes. And we've added a blue dot that's going to follow my finger so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So I can tap a note and slide the note up. All right, play stuff like that. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? A lot of these smart instruments have this autoplay dial. And I can just go ahead and dial up a pattern. The strings fade away. Now I have these big bars, so the only decision I make is which chord do I want to play. And look what happens with one touch of a finger when I tap on one of these chords. Just choose any chord. Isn't that cool? The next thing is recording. Let's say we, we have an idea and we want to capture it so we can hear it later. Recording in GarageBand for iPad is incredibly simple. You can see right at the top of the screen that bright red button, that's in every touch instrument. So all we have to do is tap on it. We'll get a count in. I'll just play the part again. All right, you can see that now in the music timeline up here, we can see the area in green that shows me where my recording has gone. And I can go ahead and play it back. It sounds just like I played it. So you can tell, really easy to do a recording. So that's just a quick look at GarageBand for iPad. It turns your iPad into a complete recording studio and a collection of these incredible touch instruments. And we just can't wait to hear all the creative things that people are going to do once they get this in their hands. Thank you. GarageBand for iPad, $4.99. It will be on the App Store on March 11th.